Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today with a brand new deck tech, brand new, uh, just new set, new deck. It's gonna be super fun. It's red blue. We're, yep. we're gonna go super simple. We're playing uh, Myles and Mujdart. And we're gonna see what happens in the deck called Spirit Fingers. Oh yeah. So, before we get into it, we'll just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also down below, you'll find our uh, FOW Grimoire app, which is our deck builder slash database for the Force Will game. It's a very well done, like well put together app. We've been working on it constantly to make it better and better. Um, and we finally got the new rulers in and all the new fun stuff in it. Yep. So go check that out and then see if you like it. I mean, it's super easy to use. I mean, we, we just did it right before the video. Yeah, pretty we much. Had the idea. I was like, all right, let's put this together right now. Done. So, we're gonna delve into the deck called Spirit Fingers, because yep. we're playing spirits, you know, how that goes. So, first up is my list. He is the red new ruler, he is, has the new ability called Tag, which is with six stages, so you have to have a six stage. Uh, you start the game with this ruler and another ruler with a Tag six stages in them that don't share the same name, and you put both in your ruler area. He's got a judgment of two red and one, and he's energized red. At the beginning of your main phase of the first turn, you produce a red, and then your J ruler gains swiftness, and then uh, tap this card deals 200 damage to target player or J resonator. Yep. So he gets kind of nuts on the first side, because you're like, cool, tap, deal 200 damage, do whatever I want, and then your other ruler with tag can still call a stone. Yeah, which is cool. That's, which, that's the crazy part, and you can call a stone with one ruler and judgment with the other ruler, which is kind of nutty. Um, and then he judgments into a 0-7 with swiftness. And then he enters, this card deals damage equal to its attack to each J resonant your opponent controls. This card gets plus 300, plus zero for each card in your hand. So when he judgments, he gets to be super angry and just gets to kill you and not care. Because he comes into play and he's just like, hey, yeah. you can take some damage. And it has swiftness, so there you go. See how it goes. Mm -hmm. And the tag team partner, of course, is Bouge Dart. Uh, she has a judgment of blue, blue, and one with the energize of blue. She has the tag team of six sages. And then if you would draw your starting hand, you would draw starting hand plus one additional card and your maximum hand size is increased by one until the end of the game instead. So instead of seven, it's eight. And then whenever you do judgment a ruler, draw a card, which is pretty cool. So with her ability, you tap draw a card, then put a card from your hand in the bottom of the deck. So you don't actually use it. You can probably search your deck for it or whatnot. Uh, but with the judgment side, she is also zero seven flying. And when this card gains plus 300 for each card in your hand, whenever this card deals damage uh, to your opponent, you draw a card, which just gets bigger and bigger. So it gets pretty cool from there. Yeah, she gets nuts. Like this whole deck is wild with drawing cards because that's literally all it's about. Yeah. You're going to draw as many cards as possible and do all kinds of stuff with it. Uh, the first creature of the deck is an alternate card. It's one of the split cards. It is Salamander, the spirit slash ghost flame. And Salamander is a one red spirit. Uh, he has, you can banish this card, this card deals damage equal to its attack to target J Resonator. So that's kind of sweet, just being yeah. like, hey cool, I have a dude and I can sacrifice him, and he's a 3-1. And then also this card is, deals 300 damage to target player or Resonator as Ghost Flame, and then in the graveyard you can pay 2 red and 1, put this card from graveyard into your hand. Which is cool. Yeah, and so it's really nice, and there's a card we'll talk about later that you want to go get with that card always. Uh, next one, of course, is uh, Mirage, the fantasy guide slash slash Forcey. It's a, she's a two blue spirit. Uh, it's a five seven. And with the Resonator, you, whenever you draw a card, put two one one counters on this card. And with your ruler, you can do that every turn. So it gets pretty crazy. And then you may also pay two blue less for cards named Forcey. And the chant is draw two cards. So if you have one on the field and another one in hand, it's free just to start drawing two cards, which is insane. Yeah, and we played this chick before, and she gets out of hand. Yeah, real, real quick. Fast. Uh, next is Elfina, the Spirit of Trial. She has two red for a 10-2 spirit with quick cast. When this card is put into the graveyard from the field, it deals damage equal to its attack to each J resonator your opponent controls. Remove this card in your graveyard from the game, put 4-1 counters on a fire J ruler you control. So if this is in the graveyard after you've used its ability, you can make your Mylas super strong. Yeah. If you really want to. And, and you definitely want to. Yeah. Next one, of course, is the Spirits of Fire and Water. It's a one in, one red, one blue, it's six six. This card gains four plus four, plus four plus four as long as you control a card named Mylas, which you will. This card gains quick cast in all zones as long as you control a card named Emoj Dart. 
This card gains prevent the first damage that would be dealt to this card each turn as long as you control a card named Mojdar. So super powerful, I think. Mm -hmm. For you to be able to just come in and start swinging and even kill dudes and just, that's fine. Yeah. It's still alive. It's a two mana quick cast 10-10. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter what else it does. Like, it automatically is super strong. Yeah, exactly. That is it for the, the resonators. We're going to go into the spells real quick. The first spell we got is Endless Purse. So it is one of the treasure cards, but it's still good for this deck for what it does. So one blue, draw a card. You have no max hand size for the end of the game. Good. And it shuffles into the deck. So you're always going to have it, and you're never going to shuffle out. You're never going to draw out because you're going to keep getting this and draw it. Yeah. And keep playing it. So, I mean, it just... I mean, you can draw it. It's just kind of going to be a pain. And Yeah, exactly. But the fact that you can just have no maximum hand size and with 4C as well, like you said, you're drawing all the cards for your yeah. dudes. Uh, first one is Bewildering Charm. It's one blue mage art. It's a quick cast. Choose one, return target resonator to its owner's hand or draw a card. Seems good options for one mana. Uh, next is Cane of the Salamander. It is one red for an addition. Into this deals 500 damage to target player or J resonator. Arrest to recover J rule you control. Tap and then target resonator against swiftness and pierce until the end of turn so the mirage that's super big with all those counters you're just like cool she gains swiftness and pierce yeah because i can especially the pierce part yeah just be like oh you block with your no it's dead yeah it's cool. dead Thanks. and you're dead uh the next one is the magic of trust and love it's one blue one red chant quick cast you may rest a recovered card named my list or moj dart you control rather than play this card's cost so it can be free choose one if you control a card named Mylist and a card named Mojart, which you will, choose both instead. This card deals 700 damage to target player or J Resonator. Draw a card. Simple as that. So you're going to be doing that for free. Yeah, so it can cost free. Yeah. Uh, next is 4C. It is the actual card 4C. <laughs> it is two blue, draw two cards, and you're likely going to have Mirage in place, so this card's going to be free. Yeah, so technically you can have seven free draw two cards, and that's every uh, card game's, you know, dream. Yeah. And then once you have that, you just judgment my list, and you're like, cool, take a lot, because yeah. I have a lot of cards in hand. Exactly. Now, the next one, of course, is the Sacrifice of Words and Memories. So it's a red, blue, and one chant. You may play a red less to play if you have my list, and a blue less if you, play, if you have most dark. Search your deck for a fire spirit and or slash water spirit, so we have all of those. Reveal them and put them in your hand. The second into your graveyard, and then shuffle your deck. Recover a ruler you control. So technically, it can be lots of free. And then finally, we have a duet of water. It is two blue and one for a chant with quick cast. You may choose one. So you choose one, and you may choose an additional one for each recover generally you control. So if you have both your dudes untapped, you get to choose all three. Yep. Uh, draw a card, return up to two target resonators to their owner's hands, and then prevent all damage that would be dealt to, to J resonators you control, but until the end of the turn. So this dude, this card gets nuts, because you're just like, cool, draw a card, bounce those dudes, and I get bigger on every every aspect of it. Yeah, pretty much. And this card, you're going to deals attack to each J, your opponent control, so it doesn't matter if, it, if you have it or not, but it's still just a really good card. Yeah, it's super strong just because it can do a lot for you. Yes, it costs three, but... It's okay. You're going to get there. Yeah. Uh, that is it for the deck. The stones are really simple. We're playing the Magic Stone of the Six Sages, which is the new stone. Uh, enter, recover a, a ruler you control. And then tap, produce one. And then tap, produce one will of any attribute. Play this ability only if you cover, recover J slash J ruler. So you automatically get to untap your dude and then use more abilities and get free mana that way. Yeah. Extremely good. Uh, Magic Stone of Hearth's Core, which is the blue-red duel, and then Anaractus Moria because you technically control a red and a blue ruler, so it's a red-blue stone. Yeah. And this deck always wants to make sure it has the red and blue on turn one and turn two, period, so I chose those over the Magic Stones of the Six Ages. It's going to feel very comforting in deck brawls. <laughs> I can get there. Yeah, yeah. It'll be pretty fun to play. This deck's going to be super fun. We've we've played with Mirage again, and she's just, she's just a good card. Like, that card is just insane for what it does. Uh, but we're super excited to play this deck. Can't wait. So uh, check it out. The decks will be down below, and we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.